This is a modification of one of the exercises at the end of chapter 2, which is being reviewed in class. If you watch this video, the file is on the class website. You could also hit the pause button. I changed things around in here. Uh, there's a few things we're doing, relatively simple. And there's a second part to here, which is not in it. So let's begin. I want the formula for today's date. I click on formulas. I click on date and time. It's just today. You could literally type in equal today, left parenthesis. It's in there. We've got several employees. We want to count them. If we go into the count, it will work with the numbers here. We have to count words. Instead of equal count, it's equal count A. So what we're going to do here, different ways of doing this. I'm going to go on the Home tab. If I click over here, it says Count Numbers here. I'm going to click. If I do this, I'm going to do, arbitrarily do this incorrectly. I highlight these cells here. Complete the formula. It's the right range. It's finding zero. It's count A. I can go right inside here, or I could literally type equal count A. It's giving me the count of six people. I want to determine the monthly salary. We're paid this about a year. So you just divide it by 12. Drag it down, double cross on the black cross here. We want to do, I want to go into E10. I want to know the amount of the bonus. They were rated in different ways, okay? Which is good. This is an H lookup. H lookup means horizontal. We've got two rows here. This row here, this is the second row. And what it is, this is what their bonuses are. And it's a formula. You're going to multiply the 0, 2, or 5% times the monthly salary. It's relatively easy. You've got to do this carefully. So what it is, we're going to multiply the monthly salary times the result of the H lookup. I click on formulas. Look up and reference. I go to H lookup. The table array. Don't include the caption up above here or the words here. You're just going to highlight these things here. Let go. It collapses. Since we're copying this down, it has to be an absolute. Hit the F4 key. You've got. I did this in the wrong place here. Whoops. The lookup value. Sorry, everybody. I'm going to click on the survey score. The 5. Now I highlight the data range here. Absolute it. Now the row index number. There's row 1. There's row 2. Row 2 has a 2 or the 5%. You don't type in the percent. Just type in a 2 because that's where the data is. And it's going to give you a weird looking thing here but don't worry I say okay two hundred eight dollars and thirty three cents which is four per five percent of that I pull it down I want to know the monthly take-home pay we're gonna add that four thousand three seventy five pull it down now, we're going to do an if statement, okay? We're saying if their survey score is 4 or higher, they are going to get an additional 10% of their bonus, which means Fred is going to get $20.83. Mary's not going to get anything. She was a 3.5. It was still good, but not outstanding. So we're going to do an if statement. It is logical. We're going to go to if. When you're doing an if statement, it's true or false. It's binary. No such thing as maybe. So I want to say if the survey score 
this cell here greater than equal to 4. We're going to go into the true condition. They are going to get 10% of their bonus. We click inside the rating bonus amount. We multiply it. You can either type in 0.1 or 10%. It's showing $20.83 if it's true. And I type in a zero. So it's saying true. And it's going to give you the result. I'm just going to move this. I say okay. $20.83 recognition. And you're getting the formulas in there where some people are getting it, others are not. Want to go to the next sheet in here. It's called car payment. We have a few things here. Um, you know that a down payment is what you apply to the loan. So we're just going to subtract we're now only paying $23,000 for the car. When you're paying something on time, it's typically done every month. It's a monthly payment. So what we want to do here, we're going to do the payment function. We're going to do a couple of other little formulas in here. This will really give you good practice. So to do the monthly payment, we go into the financial. We find PMT, just one P. So we've got three parts here. You have a box here. These two are not bold. You don't have to fill them out. The rate is four and a quarter percent. Now let's remember again, we're paying this on a monthly basis. It's not four and a quarter percent a month. We divide it by 12. Number of payments. We're paying this off in three years. And we have to multiply it by the number of months in the year. It's saying 36 over there. Present value of the loan, which is the 23,000. We want to make it appear as a positive number. Hit the minus sign. Click in here. It shows the result here, 681.61. We say OK. We've got the monthly payment here. Now, let us say we want to determine what we're paying over these three years on this $28,000 purchase. It's simple arithmetic. We work with cell references. It doesn't matter which order we do it in. It's a monthly payment times the number of years. And then don't forget the 12 months. So we're spending $24,000, $1,500. Watch this. I change this to four years. Hit the enter key. The payment is down, but we're spending $2,000. Now I want to talk about a few formulas here, okay? We have a monthly income of $4,800. We want to know what percent we are spending on the car. It's a small percent, okay? I would say it's um, a little over 10% because 10% of 4800 is $480. So to do this, it you have to divide one number by the other. Equal this divided by this. Complete the formula. 0.20833 and what I'm going to do I want to format this as a percent I click on the percent and then I'm going to hit the this is saying 2.0 percent does this look right I divided it by the wrong amount here do you see how I have that here so what I have to do, the formula is wrong. We have to look carefully. So it's equal this divided by the monthly income. I'm also seeing another little issue. I type an apostrophe. Can't do that. I hit the escape key. I start again. Monthly payment, divide 
we hit the slash, we click inside our income, 10.87%. That was the guesstimate. You see a strange number, you know there is an issue. I'm trying to show you what happens when we have errors. Now, what I want to do here, I want to do an if statement. It's true or false. We could tell it's less than 12%, but if we're changing car prices and other things here, things could change. So what it is, we're going to do another if statement. Important to know in this class, etc. And I go into logical, or watch this. I click on recently used. It shows if there. So what I want to say here, if this is less than 12%, It's saying true over here. If it's true, I want to invest 8% of my income .08. I could type it that way too. Some people prefer to just type in the percents. It works either way. If it's false, times, we say, okay, I'm only putting away $384. I want to make a currency. Click on the dollar sign. However, we're putting good money away every month. However, let's say we opted for a $38,000 car. Look what happens. Payments go up. We're spending a lot more of our income. So that's a summary of what we've done in class. Good exercise in working with if, lookups, and more. There was one step I missed where we were doing the lowest average and highest bonus. Try to read carefully. <laughs> I want to know these are the bonuses, okay? I want to know the high, low, etc. If I want to find the lowest, I click to the right of that auto sum. I click on min. This is not the correct range. I highlight these cells here. Hit the enter key. It's always E10 through E15. As you can see, I inadvertently clicked on max. That's not the one. I want, I'm going to click over here, I'm going to click on min, again, highlight these, those are the bonuses, I want to know the average, I click over here, average, again, select the correct range, enter, I want to find the highest, the maximum, I click on the max, again, the wrong range, Hit the enter key. Everything is now complete.